Hello everybody, JP from JP's Aviation here, and welcome back to another video. On the 1st of December 2010, the second generation of the Airbus A320 family was launched, the A320neo, which this video will be focusing on. The Neo is the fastest selling airplane in the world with over 7,000 orders and over 1,000 built. And in 2019, the A320 family surpassed the 737 family's orders with a huge order for 300 NEO aircraft from Indigo. So how did the Airbus A320 family outsell the almost 60 year old 737 family? Let's find out. Let's first look at what the NEO is. The NEO actually isn't a brand new aircraft. As I said in the intro, it's the second generation of the Airbus A320. So what's the difference? Well the answer actually lies in the name. NEO stands for New Engine Option. And besides the new more efficient engine, the two aircraft are basically the same. This lets airlines that operate the A320 current engine option, or CEO, like Spirit move pilots to the new engine option with minimal computer training. If the A320neo was a brand new aircraft, the airlines would have to have a brand new training program for the pilots. This is the first reason, fleet commonality. It costs a lot of time, resources, and money to put a new aircraft into your fleet. For example, JetBlue took delivery of the A220-300, a new aircraft in their fleet, on the 31st of December of last year. And the inaugural flight was on the 26th of April this year. Compare that to American Airlines, who operates the A320 family already. They got their first A320neo delivered on the 1st of February 2019, and the first flight was on the 2nd of April 2019. That's almost a two month difference. The A320neo family also has five family members, the A319neo, the A320neo, the A321neo, the A321LR, and the A321XLR, all of which serve a different purpose. The A319neo, which isn't that popular, as a smaller single aisle aircraft all the way up to the A321XLR for trips up to 4,700 nautical miles. And again, fleet commonality is at play here. Airlines like Indigo, who has the largest amount of A320neo family member aircraft on order, can have a long range aircraft in the LR and XLR and the A321neo and operate the A320neo alongside each other and they're practically the same aircraft. Now, let's be clear here, they're not the exact same aircraft, but minimal training is needed because all the NEOs have a common type rating, so pilots can fly any of these aircrafts without a full training program and rather a smaller training program. Now, there are other reasons. It was introduced earlier than the 737 MAX, and Boeing was even hesitant to build the 737 MAX, so airlines didn't know if they were getting a 737 replacement. And the A320neo started service the same year that 737 MAX took its first flight. Boeing also had problems before the Neo, like the 787, and now there's the whole MAX crash issue. However, this will be covered in another video soon. I want to talk about low cost carriers. When the current engine option and 737 next generation came out, there weren't as many ultra low cost carriers and low cost carriers as there are now. And they definitely weren't as big as they are now. And it's not the legacy carriers that actually make up the bulk of the A320neo orders. It's actually the budget airlines which are seeing extraordinary growth right now. Indigo Airlines has the largest A320neo order, with 700 family member aircraft on order, followed by the AirAsia Group with just over 400. Well, why? First of all, like we talked about before, it's fleet commonality. Both operate the A320 current engine option. But demand in the Asian and Indian market is booming right now, so it only makes sense that these airlines would order hundreds and hundreds of NEOs to satisfy these demands. So, let me know what you think. Do you think that the NEO will be able to hold its spot, or do you think since the MAX is ungrounded, more and more airlines will start to order the 737 MAX, and the 737 family will regain its spot? I look forward to seeing what you think. And I'll see you all next time on JP's Aviation. Goodbye.